Okay, this is the floor plan of the shower and, and potties, the flushers and showers that we're gonna do at the land. We actually have two six by six bathrooms with toilets and sinks. We're gonna put urinals in these corners, but we the program we had didn't have a symbol for a urinal, so we got this far. These doorways are 36 inches wide, so they're handicap accessible. This shower down here is 36 inches wide. The doorway is 36. The shower is 48 by 36, which gives you two foot extra here, which is three, pardon me, three foot extra here. So you have plenty of room to, to get in with a chair if you need to, or plenty of room to shower. Basically, the showers are big enough that you can go in, shut the door, get undressed, put your items on a shelf, you can get into the shower, take a shower. When you step out, the shower becomes part of your drying area. But that's one that way we had to set it so we could actually afford to build it. If this does go over like we plan and we decide we need more, the land is set up to where we would take this, uh, this idea and maybe even make not so quite so big a potties like this, but the next building would be to the left of it, to where it would just continue on and we could make it grow as much as we want to. By adapting this program, we ended up with two flushers, handicapped size, which is plenty big enough whether you're in full gown or not. And in the ba in the winter time, you have room to get get out of your jacket if you have to go to the bathroom. And three showers, which is we had only planned for two, but we did arrange things thanks to Fenris and I doing some some work here. We ended up getting two 36 by 36 and one 48 by 36 shower. The showers will not be labeled male or female; they'll just be a line for them. The bathrooms will not be labeled male or female, they'll just be a line for them. Okay, and can you sh uh, show us over here what we've got going on on site, actual? Yes. Only, only in your hands, Murtag. Okay, we have taken the ground and started, we've started preparing the ground for the site. We've already done our elevations. We've used our instruments and our levels and we've done our elevations. We know how much fill we need, where we need to put it. McFadden's bringing in our fill right now. We're going to be having forms set and digging trenches today and I'm hoping to get that far. And that's a major accomplishment for a kingdom that's gone this many years without a flusher or a shower. Okay, so if we get the forms dug out today, what's um, the next step? I will contact Ren and the, uh, the kingdom to get some of the money that was donated because I'll have to get materials, I'll have to get rebar, I'll have to get ties, I'll have to get uh, pedestals, and I'll have to set up for the concrete to pour. I can give them my dimensions and they'll tell us how much we need. From my estimations, we'll need between eight or nine yards, which should be a truck load. Oh. Which, if we get it any bigger, it's another reason we compacted it, because any bigger you have to pay for another truck to come oh. in. If we can get eight or nine yards, we have enough to do this and have one truck load pay one truck fee. We also have it set up to where the roof is going to go from the back to the front to make a slope, because the back would be towards the north, which would help. Hmm. Our doors are also opening from the left to the right. They'll be hinged on the right because the north comes out on the right. Okay. And you don't want the, it to open this way and have the wind catch you in the wintertime. Oh, no, you want it to open down. this way and the wind is coming against you, so it's not, oh. not trying to get you when you get in the bathroom. We also have some very nice windows that have been donated. They mm -hmm. will be put in the front and on the sides for light. Really? To go about with the light. We also have plans for screens with vents to where the heat will be vented. We'll, we'll convection out and we'll have our own cooling. In the wintertime, it'll be a little cool. We'll have to have some space here. If we do have electricity available, we have water. And I also dug the hole down to the septic line to where we get to our potty line, our dump line. I had to know how deep it was and how big the pipe was for our plumber, our master plumber, to set his plants. So we have that hole dug. We're on a roll. We're going to do whatever we can. All right. And with, uh, so when is the piping? The Are we doing, P I mean, okay, PVC, copper, I don't know what's going on. Okay. but We're doing PV. There's a special pump plumbing you use for the potty underground. It's, I think it's a green pipe. And we have a master plumber that will do it. He will ask you money for this too. He will come in, he's gonna come in tomorrow and look at our site and see how far we are and to figure exactly what he needs. And he'll finish that, that, that material list up. And he'll come in the next week and he'll finish that up for us. Wow. So we could be pouring within the next two weeks. Okay, all right. Depending and then on when I can get help, get, I have to get the rebar, get it down, get it tied. And I have to get his, part of his plumbing done because you can't put all the rebar into you know where he's gonna be. Sure. And we'll have our forms up, we'll have our rebar, We'll be ready to pour. We're hoping two weeks. Okay. All right. And then after that, it's just um, what? D putting up the structure? It's the structure. From there on, the wow. structure, we have to, like I said, we have to get our rebar ties, our, our, our stands, and we have to get the little connectors that go into the concrete for you to start your stubbing out on. Okay. Uh, we're going to set those in.
and uh, we're, we're gonna rock. We're gonna okay. keep going. We're hoping uh, to get to it. I know we got uh, we got two toilets already in the guard yeah, shack, so all right. We do have two urinals in the, sh in the guard shack, mm -hmm. but I've been told that the connections to connect to those coolers are more expensive than if we just bought uh, two brand new urinals. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna probably see if it's okay to sell those on Craigslist. Oh yeah. And take that money and put it back into whatever we need, which is probably gonna be yours. Very good. Because cool. they sell real high, but the parts are very high too. Even if we had to repair it later on, the parts would be pretty high. But you get a good quality one, brand new with all the fixtures, and put it, we have them in the corner of the handicap lot. All right. Very cool. So we're all excited. This is exciting. It's exciting. All right. This is episode two, and uh, look look forward to episode three. Yes. All right. Have a good one. Thank you.